Hey everyone, it's Brandon Amoroso, founder of Shopify Plus Agency, Electric Marketing. And today I'm gonna to be walking you through Gorgeous Convert. So first let's start with a basic introduction of what Gorgeous Convert is. Essentially, if you're familiar with uh, Gorgeous Chat, which already exists on your website or most websites that you've interacted with, it is a highly targeted and proactive on-site campaign that will transform your website visitors into revenue driving, you know, upsells, conversions. And so as opposed to it being prompted by the customer opening up the chat and starting some sort of conversation, we are actually able to use a host of behavioral triggers to then open up the chat with certain messages, with certain language, uh, with a certain customer support agent or certain products to be able to help guide the customer journey and ultimately get them to convert. So it's more of a CRO tool that's designed to personalize upselling, cross-selling, and bundling strategies based off of your customer's behavior on website than it is necessarily a traditional customer support tool. So we've been seeing conversion rates lifted by up to 15% with these on-site campaigns, and it's really a great, no-brainer, low-hanging way to increase not only site conversion rate, but also AOV and help better guide that customer journey. So I'm gonna get into all of the features here, but at a high level, you have the ability to create campaigns, and these campaigns are gonna be based off of certain triggers, and there's a variety of different options that you can set them with, whether you wanna delay on certain uh, timeframes, if you want to only show on desktop versus mobile. Uh, and then I'm gonna go through some of the advanced features and also the way that you can actually track the performance within the convert account. But first things first, we actually have to set it up. So in your gorgeous account, you'll now see in the drop down a convert tab. So you'll click on that convert tab and you're going to go to installation here. Uh, in the case of this site, it's already installed, but it's super straightforward. If you're on Shopify, all you do is have a one click installation. And so here I'm not going to click uninstall, but in your account, it'll show install. You'll go through the one click process and then you'll be off and running. Uh, if you are on a headless store, or if you cannot use the one-click installation for any reason, you go through the manual installation, uh, which is simply adding this code to your uh, theme file, and then you'll be off and running. So really straightforward to get that set up. Now, let's go into the actual campaign build out. So I'm gonna go into campaigns here. You can see that we already have a lot that are live, which I'll cover in a bit, but you have the option to create a custom campaign or to create a campaign from Gorgeous's library. So they've already put together 12 of the most common use cases for what a brand would want to do on site. You have three that are designed to increase conversion rate. So you can promote your newsletter signup for new visitors about to leave. You can engage with your customers on the cart page, or you can promote a sale collection for visitors that are about to leave the site. You've got three to increase AOV. So offering a discount for visitors with high value carts, highlighting a free shipping benefit for customers that are near the threshold, and then suggesting bundles when only a single item is in the cart. You can also highlight products, which I'll show how to do this uh, in a couple minutes here, but you can promote new product releases on certain collection pages. You can schedule limited time offers for liquidated items, and you can even do things like suggest similar items if somebody lands on a sold out or back ordered product. And then of course, help in education. So having conversations with the visitors to find the right product. Uh, with this skincare brand in particular, if somebody has been spent a certain amount of time on the website and viewed a certain amount of pages, but they haven't added anything to cart yet, we will have this pop up and prompt them to take our shade finder quiz, which takes them through a process to figure out what it is, you know, what's their actual shade color that they should be purchasing. You can also promote educational content or link valuable resources uh, to help your visitors if your team is offline. So those are the 12 out of the box ones, but let's say we wanna create a custom campaign you'll actually title the name of the campaign. So we'll do this test, choose the language. Now you can choose your audience. So there's a host of different behavioral triggers that you can use. So the current URL, we can say, you know, contains, let's say we wanna target people that are on the collections pages. Um, but you could also say, we wanna target people that are also on the products page as well. Then you can choose which business hours. So if you want it during business hours, outside business hours, or at any time. And then this is where you can add in those behavioral triggers. So current URL, time spent on page, what the currently visited product is, number of visits, the time spent per visit, and if exit intent is there. 
Then you have your cart. So if certain product tags have been added to the cart or a certain amount has been added to the cart, you can also leverage customer data like Shopify customer tags, what country they're from, number of orders placed, total spent, products purchased, and then other information such as the business hours that they're currently visiting the website. So let's say that we want to target people you know, who have already added $150 or more. So we'll say is greater than 149. And let's say that, you know, we want to only target the people who are in our VIP tier. So have spent $500 or more. And we can choose to delay this pop up. So let's say we want to wait 15 seconds. We want to show it on both desktop and mobile. And then customers can reply to this campaign. I typically have this on almost always. Uh, that's my preference, is so they can start to interact and engage with your team if wanted. Uh, but you can also say, you know, incognito visitors will also see this campaign. So if they don't match an existing Shopify customer profile, the campaign will still be uh, displayed. And then we actually can write our message as well. So you can choose a particular agent, or you can have it randomly assigned, and you can add in your copy. So you'd say, Hi, I noticed you were checking out, you know, X. Here's a 10% off code as a thank you for your loyalty. And then uh, you can insert that discount code. So it'll automatically pull in your discount codes. And then let's say we also want to highlight, you know, a particular product with Shopify integration you can pull in all the products here and it'll show like this and so I wouldn't have this combined in the same message but just for the purposes of showing it in this example you could say hi I know you were check you know to see we're checking out our bundle here's 10% off with a special link for you below to complete your purchase or something to that effect um, and then we go ahead and create. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create. Campaign has successfully been created. Let's go back to the campaign list. And so it's still off, so we haven't actually activated it, but it's in this test mode. Uh, if you want to turn it live, when you do create, you could say create and activate, or you can just come here and turn it on, and then it'll start to uh, show up on uh, your site. So. That is essentially how you set up the campaign in a nutshell. There's a lot of different you know, behaviors that you can target with this, a lot of different customer types. So you can get pretty sophisticated with this. And if you want, you can actually add in multiple products too, which is something I wanted to highlight. So you can have a carousel of products here and then they can simply just click add to cart from the, uh, from the chat pop-up and it'll take them into the checkout flow. So that's how you actually build the campaign. And we also covered how to add products to the carousel, but let's talk a little bit more about the actual uh, behavioral triggers that you can use to uh, you know, create different experiences and personalize it more to who that particular customer is. So I'll use this as another example for the conditions, but we already covered the amount added to cart. You can target what products are in that cart so if we want to say, you know, the product and cart contains, uh, let's say, bundle. So then, you know, we know because in this particular Shopify storefront, any of the products that are bundles, we have tagged with the bundle tag. So we're going to say contains bundle. And then we could also say, oh, you know, they're visiting a particular page. So it actually is, you know, collections dash, let's say, skincare. We can also target based off of the time spent on page. So time spent on page is greater than, let's say, 30 seconds. Say time spent on the website. So the time spent per visit is greater than, you know, let's say, 120 seconds. Uh, number of visits, so greater than, say, five. Uh, the exit intent as well. So if it's detected that they're going to exit, this is typically something that I wouldn't combine with all these other things. Uh, exit intent is really great uh, for first time visitors to the website. They're about to leave and you know, maybe you trigger a discount code via the gorgeous chat 
or you just have an automated outreach message saying, hey, you know, notice you were leaving. Is there anything that we could help you with to try and help save that customer, that potential customer before they exit? Uh, you can also choose whether the visit is during business hours or outside of business hours. And then you would have it so that, uh, you know, you don't actually have an agent on the other end if it is outside of business hours, but you would come up with another prompt or language to be able to still help guide that customer. But, uh, you know, you'd have to get back to them during business hours if they needed further support. You can also target the specific device as well as uh, the time of purchase as well. But there's a bunch of other tags in here, but my favorite to use is typically um, the amount added to the cart because if it's above a certain threshold, we're going to want to be more aggressive if we notice that that person is about to leave. So we would delete all this other stuff and say, you know, if the cart is greater than $149, and exit intent is detected, then we are going to target them with a message uh, saying something along the lines of, hey, here's 20% off for orders over $150 if they go to leave the website. Ultimately, hopefully, saving that particular purchase. Um, so again, there's a lot of different triggers that you can use here. You can think of it in sort of the same way that you would building out a Klaviyo flow or other behavioral-based uh, communications to the customer. And you can really start to see how this can all sort of start to tie together. So, you know, let's say you have a browse abandonment email and text going out. Well, well let's target them with a chat campaign as they're leaving as well, because that's going to hit them before they'd even get to the browse abandonment email and text. But if they don't actually convert on this particular chat campaign, then we'll still be able to send them that email and text via Clavio or Attentive or, you know, whatever it may be. So that's actually setting it up. At a bare minimum, there's about you know, six that I would typically recommend, but it really is up to you how you want to create this. I would strongly recommend getting started with some of the ones from the campaign library. Uh, it's, these are a nice way to get started. And then from there, you can actually, you know, track your performance. So here you can see on the campaign performance, total amount of revenue driven during a specified time range. So let's say, let's look at the last, I don't know, uh, let's do the last 90 days. Let's break it down by total revenue. You can see here, our product page Illumina Cream has driven over $2,000 of revenue. The click-through rate is almost 5%. Total conversion rate is almost 9%. And you can see how many tickets were created as a byproduct of that as well. So this is your basically command hub for monitoring your campaign performance. You can view revenue attributed to each campaign. You can easily manage the display status as well from this with your ROI insights and uh, the funnel data is pretty clearly displayed as well. And you can, let's say we only want to see the Illumina cream. You can filter for that up in the top here and see how it has performed and how many, pe how many people, uh, how many impressions it's received as well. So that's essentially Gorgeous campaign in a nutshell, or rather gorgeous convert in a nutshell. Uh, it's a really great complimentary tool to add on into your gorgeous sort of product suite and help better personalize the customer experience and ultimately increase conversion rate and drive AOV. But I would really emphasize looking at how to do things around behavioral triggers that are based off of Shopify customer data. You know, you have some very basic high level stuff like welcoming new visitors. That's sort of one bucket. Then you have your returning customers as well, which I view as another bucket. And then within those returning customers, you can use things like how many orders they've had, any sort of uh, customer tags they have on them in Shopify. Are they an active subscription customer? Are they not an active subscription customer? Think of all these things as you're building out your gorgeous campaigns that you can make sure that you're delivering, you know, the best type of content at the right time for that particular customers. Um, and so, that's essentially it. That's Gorgeous Convert. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, the store that I walked through here today was for a skincare brand, uh, Toady. And so uh, you can go on their website and also check out how the Convert campaigns work there. Uh, but here you can see, you know, we've already got some based off of the uh, previous items that I went through here, such as added a cart, more than $75, but less than 125 we're reminding them about the fact that if they add over $125 to their cart, the rebuy smart cart is automatically going to give them a free Rosita beauty bag. And we have things like exit intent, 
We also have uh, help, so need any help finding the right products. All of these have performed very well and has helped guide the customer journey, not even from just an analytics standpoint, but from the feedback that we've received from customers that they found it very helpful that there was chat support there. And even though a lot of these were automated, it's able to get them through that customer journey in a more seamless fashion when they're not able to figure it out for themselves. So that's Gorgeous Convert. Thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions.